When you think about renewable energy, wind turbines will often come to mind. They have steadily become the icon of the environmental movement, seen by many as the future of renewable energy and a key tool in tackling climate breakdown. But are they truly the energy solution that we need? For thousands of years, we've been harnessing the power of wind. From humble beginnings, crushing grains and pumping water, turbines have evolved and are now powering much of the world around us. Modern turbines generate 50 times more power than they did in the 90s. This means the latest turbines can power an average UK home for 24 hours with a single turn of its blades. Turbines produce power by converting kinetic energy of the wind. The wind spins the blades of the turbine, which turns a generator, which produces electricity. The potential for wind power is huge. Each day around the world, the wind generates enough energy to supply our global power demand 35 times over. During the 90s, turbines averaged a height of around 40 meters. In the last 20 years, they've steadily grown in scale, with the largest in production reaching a height of 260 meters. And the larger cross section allows the blades to spin at a slower rate, reducing noise pollution while increasing power output. Noise pollution was an early concern for some, as wind farms rolled out across the country. But modern turbines produce a maximum volume of only around 100 decibels. And once you factor in how volume drops over distance, the noise concerns quickly decrease. The largest land-based wind turbines are 200 metres tall. At that height, noise at ground level is only around 60 decibels. And in terms of renewable options, the UK is much better set up for wind power than for solar, as we can still produce electricity through our sun-deprived winters when we need extra power for heating. And we already see wind working well in other countries. Denmark produces a staggering 40% of its annual power demand from the wind. Over one blustery 24-hour period in 2019, it generated 140% of its daily energy demands. This overproduction of electricity meant they were able to sell it on to their close neighbours, Germany, Norway and Sweden. Many other countries are following suit, with Germany and India seeing rapid growth in wind farm production. While all this sounds exciting, turbines aren't perfect. As countries adopt them, the demand for rare earth elements used in their production has dramatically increased. While not unique to manufacturing turbines, the demand for these rare elements will continue to grow as wind power surges in popularity. We need to make every effort to ensure that these elements are produced in a fair and sustainable way. As history shows, when an already rare element grows in demand, it often goes hand in hand with human rights abuses. Sustainable energy needs to be built on fair and sustainable practices. Deciding on where to locate wind farms can also be a concern. Turbines have sometimes faced opposition when based on land, with a minority of people considering them to be an eyesore, but due to their colossal sizes, the largest are all located offshore. Turbines can also cause harm to wildlife. Marine ecosystems can be affected by the infrastructure required to construct offshore wind farms and birds can be hit by the spinning blades, both on land and at sea. While this is a sad reality, the latter represents a tiny fraction of all bird deaths. This issue can be reduced by careful positioning of the turbines. And a study in Norway found that painting one of the three blades black reduced bird deaths by up to 72%. So, whilst there are some valid concerns that a transition to more wind power would need to mitigate for, it presents our best chance to move the UK away from reliance on fossil fuels. Wind power is one of the cheapest forms of renewable energy. And as the world transitions away from fossil fuels, the industry growth represents a fantastic opportunity to build jobs and create a fair way for workers to transition from polluting industries into clean ones.